Um, the test you just witnessed is called an electroencephalogram. And this test is a painless, non-invasive uh, recording of the electrical activities coming from the brain. And essentially, this helps us to diagnose some brain disorders uh, that lead to abnormal electrical discharges. Of interest is uh, the diagnosis of epilepsy. Uh, electroencephalogram, or for short, EEG, is one of the tests we conduct routinely to uh, help us to confirm the diagnosis of epilepsy. Uh, over and above that, the electroencephalogram helps us to classify the type of epilepsy a patient has. It also helps us to evaluate the progress that a patient who has epilepsy is making with the therapy that we have recommended. Um, so it is very important to uh, perform this test for anybody with a suspicion of seizures. Uh, but more than epilepsy, ele electroencephalography also helps us in the management of some other neurological conditions, such as some types of sleep disorders, such as some type of dementia, uh, some types of headaches, or with patients who have suffered stroke, okay, uh, or some patient with abnormal behavior. So the performance of this test is essentially painless. It does not harm anybody. Um, it's, it doesn't inflict any pain to the body. It's also very tolerable. Uh, usually uh, we record um, for the duration of 20 to 30 minutes. Should you require an EEG uh, by your doctor, there are uh, tips that you need to be aware of before coming for the procedure. Uh, the procedure takes about one and a half to two hours, and this includes the time you need to, uh, for the electrodes to be applied, for the procedure to be completed, and for the electrode to be removed and your hair put back to normal. Um, so make arrangements to, 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 to leave those times. The other thing is about your diet. Okay, there's nothing to change about your diet. Keep your normal diet. However, we don't want you to drink coffee. We don't want you to drink caffeinated tea. We don't want you to drink uh, caffeinated soda. Uh, neither alcohol nor smoking before the procedure. Your normal sleeping hours should be observed, except if you are required to do a sleep-deprived EEG. In which case, you are going to be instructed to sleep not more than four hours before the procedure. Otherwise, you should just maintain your normal sleeping hours. Uh, please come in nice dress, not too tight fitting, but comfortable, loose dress. And do not bring a child to the laboratory, okay? Except if your child is having the EEG, in which case the uh, nurse technician is gonna give you specific instructions to follow uh, with regards to the recording of your child.